In this video, we're going to go through another like Lange optimization method uh, question, but this time we're going to do it on what's called a Cobb Douglas function. So this is going to be a like Lange optimization on a Cobb Douglas function. So the function is the following, q equals to 60 k to the point 8 l to the point 2. Uh, and so this is what we call a Cobb-Douglas function when you have your two variables, um, each to some exponent here, and they're being multiplied by each other and multiplied by a constant, if you will. Um, <clears throat> okay. Now let's say that uh, capital has a cost of $40 per unit. And let's say that labor has a cost of uh, $60 per unit. Okay. And now um, what we wanna do, we want to maximize our level of output. Okay. Maximize output or production. So our Q, we want a maximum Q. Uh, and we also have the following subject to a budgetary constraint of $600,000. We can only spend $600,000 on our labor and our capital and we want to maximize our production. Okay, so Step one, we're going to set up the Lagrange function, which is the following 60 k to the point 8, l to the point 2, plus lambda times bar constraint. Now, our constraint is going to be defined by these terms right here. So, our constraint is the following 40 k plus 60 l. 40 times K uh, for our capital cost, 60 times L for our labor cost is going to be equal to $600,000. So that gives us 40 K plus 60 L minus 600,000 is our constraint. Okay, so step one, that is our Lagrange function. Step two, we're going to go and take our derivatives. Um, with respect to, in this case, k, l, and lambda, those are our three variables. So we get 60 times 0.8 k to the 0.8 minus 1 gives negative 0.2 times l to the 0.2 plus lambda times by the derivative of 40 k with respect to k is 40 derivative of 60L is nothing, derivative of 60, 600,000 is nothing with respect to K. So we end up with uh, 60 times 8 here, um, which gives us 48 K to the minus 0.2 L to the 0.2 plus 40 lambda. And LL is going to be 60 times um, 0.2, K to the 0.8, L to the 0.2 minus 1 gives negative 0.8, um, plus lambda times 0, plus 60 minus 0 gives 60 times 0.2 is 12, K to the 0.8, L to the negative 0.8, uh, plus 60 lambda. And L lambda, nice and simple, we just rewrite our constraint because the derivative of lambda with respect to lambda um, is just 1. So really this whole thing is being times by 1. So one times by that whole expression, so it just becomes itself. It just becomes the one times 40k plus 60l minus 600,000 is just 40k minus, plus 60l minus 600,000. Now, 
Step three, set all of these derivatives equal to zero and solve. And again, what I like to do, I like to go and isolate lambda in each of the expressions. You don't have to do it that way, but um, I find it easiest, especially once we get into expressions with more than just an x and a y or an l and a k. If we have three various variables as opposed to two, it gets a little more complex. Okay, so now let's keep going here and let's do, um, let's isolate for lambda here. So 48 k to the minus 0.2 l to the 0.2 equals to negative 40 lambda. Divide by negative 40. And we get, uh, let's see here. negative 12 over 10, which becomes, I'm just trying to uh, work this fraction down, that's like um, 6 times 8, and 8 times 5, so we get 6 over 5, negative. You don't have to simplify the fraction down if you don't want, um, equals to lambda. Okay, um, so our LK, its derivative gives us that lambda equals to negative um, 6 fifths K to the negative 0.2 L to the 0.2. Okay, and then moving on here using the LL, we have um, 12K to the 0.8 L to the negative 0.8. Uh, equals to negative 60 lambda, so divide both sides by 60. Then we have k to the point 0.8, l to the negative point 0.8. Um, divided by, so make that negative, uh, 12 over 60 gives us negative 1 fifth. Um, so divide by 5, and that is equal to lambda. Now, uh, now what we're going to go do, again, we're going to take the two expressions we get for lambda, set them equal to each other, and then go isolate one of the variables. So negative 6 over 5, k to the negative point 0.2, l to the point 0.2 equals to lambda, which also equals to negative k to the point 0.8, l to the negative point 0.8 over 5. So those both equal to lambda. And now we're just going to um, solve for one of the unknowns. So I can cancel a 5 on the bottom for both of those. And then I'm going to move all of the k's to the right side and all of the l's to the left side. And that's going to give me negative 6 l to the 0.2 plus 0.8. When I move the negative 0.8 over, it becomes positive. And on the right side, negative k to the 0.8, and then when I move the negative 0.2 over, it becomes positive. I can also cancel the negatives here. And I end up with 6L to the 0.2 plus 0.8 becomes L to the 1, which I just write as L. 6L equals K to the 0.8 plus 0.2. That's also just K to the 1, which is K. So 6L equals to K is what we get for expression relating L and K. And now, next step is to go and put that expression into uh, our constraint, this guy right here. Okay, so 40k plus 60l, 40k plus 60l is equal to 600,000, and we now know that um, k is 6l, so we end up with uh, 40 times 6 is 240l plus 60l, which gives 300l equals to 600,000. And that gives uh, 
um, 600,000 over 300, which gives 2,000 for L. And since we know that K is 6 times L, it's 6 times by 2,000, which gives 12,000. And if we would like, we can also go solve for lambda. Lambda also actually has a mean. Um, okay. And I'll write it down in a minute here what lambda means. Um, okay. So now, finally, we could go solve for lambda if we'd like. So uh, in this case, minus 6 fifths. K to the negative 0.2, L to the 0.2, I believe is lambda, forgive me for the scrolling. Negative 6 says K to the negative 0.2, L to the 0.2 is your lambda, so that's negative 6 fifths, 12,000 to the negative 0.2, 2,000 to the 0.2. Uh, and we can go figure out what that is equal to also, if we would like. Um, okay, and let's go figure out what that is equal to. Um, of point two. Okay. Okay, and then we have 2,000 to the power of 0.2. Okay, we're going to times that by the memory, which is this guy. And then times that by 6 divided by 5. And my lambda becomes... negative point eight three eight six let's say okay so what my lambda actually means thanks for bearing with me on those calculations there uh, what my lambda actually means is the following for every increase in a budget by one unit Production changes by this amount. So in this case, production decreases by 0.8386 units. So when you actually increase our budget from 600,000 to 600 and that 600,001 dollar, uh, our production actually decreases in this case. Okay. So that is the end of our um, Lagrange multiplier method Cobb-Douglas function example.